Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk about something today that has been incredibly helpful in my journey um, and I hope that shedding some light on it can be helpful in yours as well. So this is inspired by the book I was reading, Gary Zukov's The Seed of the Soul. Um, if that calls to you, it's just been a really awesome book. But he talks about karma in the book and this has been such a an interesting word for me that I haven't really been able to quite wrap my head around. So if you're like that, I can totally relate. But the way that I saw it, kind of from how he was explaining it, and if you want to know more details, check into that because I'm not a huge uh, karma expert, but just for this conversation, it's balancing energies. So it's just the science of whatever you've experienced in your life, in order to balance it out, you go through other experiences in your life. So I'm a huge believer because of being a Reiki master and being in the psychic world and the energy world. I'm a huge believer in past lives. Um, and so, and levels of consciousness and soul ages and things like that and different, um, just different planes that we can all live on, on earth at the same time. So we're all going through different experiences. We're all learning different soul lessons. So what happens is us as human beings, and this is what I fell victim to, which is why I want to share it, is we look out through our eyes and we have no idea what soul level the person's at, what level of consciousness they're at, um, what lessons they're learning in this lifetime, why their soul came, what their purpose is. So in comes judgment. You know, I can't believe that person's doing that. I would never do that. And then for me, because I'm a teacher, it came from, well, I need to teach them the right way. I have to teach them all the things that I know so that they can be okay. But not everybody's on the journey that I'm on or on the journey that you're on. And people need to go through certain experiences in their life. Maybe they're joyful, maybe they're painful in order to open up to the love that they came here to open up to. So when you're quick to judge someone or something um, to say, oh my God, this is a tragedy. I can't believe that they're going through this thing that they're going through. Just pull back and maybe remember this conversation in your head and, and be like, I have no idea what their karma is, what they're moving through, working through, what energies they're balancing, what their soul is learning. I have no idea. And then that gives you the freedom to just take your hands out of the too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Just withdraw your energy from. Because energetically, when we're caught up in all these other people's lives, Byron Katie talks about that. She says, um, whose business am I in? When we're in everybody else's business, just by energetically judging them, and even if we're doing it innocently by wanting to help, you know, or be of service and make their lives better, um, offer advice, we're constantly getting, getting involved with their karma, their soul journey, their path. So this can exhaust relationships, you know, family dynamics, your children, your parents. And, and, and an incredible thing happens when you just pull back and you respect a soul. So I have an energy prayer that I'll use and I say, if I feel myself getting caught up in somebody's path, you know, I respect your journey. I have faith in your wisdom. I let you go now, and I just pull all of my energy back. I set both of us free. You know, based on whatever level of consciousness the person's at, they have an inner wisdom. They have an intelligence that's guiding them to the next step in their journey, and it might not look like your next step. Um, my boyfriend and I, way back when, I used to always say, because, you know, my next step never looked like the next step he would take, and I would say, please, 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 just look past the step and just have faith in my wisdom, my intelligence. And so that's the best thing that you can do as a partner, as a parent, as a friend, as a teacher, whatever, as a colleague, is just look to their wisdom to give them the next step in their journey based on their soul path, their karma, their level of consciousness, their soul lessons, why they're here. So you gotta kinda look deeper than the physical for this. Um, and know that we all have a deeper guiding intelligence and, and you know you do and so do they so when you kind of give it up to that and this isn't to say I'm gonna totally be complacent and if somebody's coming to me with issues you're gonna say well that's your karma you know you need to work that out 
but you'll feel the difference. You know, one of my students came up to me after class last night and was asking me about this, and I said, well, you'll feel whether it's coming from love or fear, your desire to do something if there's an action step. Maybe the person just needs to be listened to. You know, my boyfriend would say that to me also on the other end of the spectrum. He would come home with an issue, and I always wanted to offer advice, and he said, I just want you to listen, not fix. Because he's on his journey, I'm on his journey. So maybe you just show up as a neutral presence for people. And if your wisdom um, comes through with something to say, like, you know, I know you have the answer in you. Do you want me to help you figure it out? Something like that. So it's not to say there is nothing to say or nothing to do and you don't want to block the person out. But just be aware of if you're trying to control or judge or know better. Um, because this will bring you so much peace it's not your job, it's not your responsibility to take care of everybody else's energy. and um, So you can just focus on you and be in your path and your light when you just, you know, it's there's that phrase, like, give it to God. So whatever you believe in, like, I know you have wisdom in you. I have faith in your soul. You're on whatever journey you're on. And it will allow space for light and compassion and love to enter into the connection between you and the person when you realize that whether you think it's wrong or right, they're working through whatever they need to work through to bring them back to love and balance the energies to bring them back to wholeness. That's why we're all here. We're just on different planes all doing the, the same thing. So I hope this helps you. This brought me a great sigh of relief and a huge shift and change in um, my relationship dynamics across the board. So any questions, reach out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.